It's obvious our participation at the UN Habitat Assembly here in Nairobi uh, is basically because our role as interim youth advisory board members uh, of UN Habitat and we have been able to push the voices for young people participation, meaningful participation uh, in terms of the new urban agenda and how can young people have a meaningful role uh, to play in the process. We've been able to have different meetings and conversations. We've been in, uh, doing a lot of different lobbying in different corridors uh, with different policymakers and stakeholders, obviously, uh, to be able to see how meaningfully young people can be part of the entire process. And we've been able to achieve that because definitely Definitely, we've been able to have a lot of commitments coming up from mayors, uh, different dignitaries also as well as part of this assembly. Well, it changed my perception. One, I learned how all the problems of the youth internationally, and you know, it's it helps me connect with other people that maybe I could change the youth, how they think about the problems, how they think about, you know, because a lot of people don't really care about the problems, usually like waste management or trees or anything. You know, we could probably be more thing on that, active on that and get them to change their ideas. Uh, so my name is Leah Namgera. I'm a climate activist from Uganda. As a climate activist, I sensitize communities, schools, and of course I'm here to amplify the voices of the voiceless Africans that are facing the consequences of climate change. I think youth voices need to be amplified and be heard out there. Hola con todos, soy Lenny, eh, vengo representando a mis pueblos y nacionalidades indígenas del Ecuador. Pues para mí es un privilegio el haber conocido, el haber compartido y el llevarme más que todo una enriquecedora educación para replicarlo en mis pueblos y más que todo este espacio que nos ha dado Naciones Unidas y un Habit es el primordial más que todo para que esta diversidad se mantenga y hacer escuchar nuestra voz como pueblos indígenas al saber de que esto no va a cambiar. Si es que nosotros hacemos el cambio, pues tenemos que poner de parte y eso es lo que debemos enseñar. It comes right back to everything in our advocacy, even as advisory board members, that we are pushing UN Habitat even more as part of their own uh, way the agency operates. It's to make sure that whatever we do, it's important to have that localization. You can't be able to plan whatever protocol and whatever declaration if you do not have the voices of the people. So in terms of localization, I mean, that's exactly where we stand from a youth advisory board uh, to make sure that those local voices from communities, especially young people, uh, they have a say in terms of how do we implement okay, the new urban agenda in as well as achieving the sustainable development goals. So we've been able to push for that and as part of our mandate, it's something that we're going to really call for more uh, attention to be given to that, having consultations at different levels in communities and cities to make sure that young people decide how they want their cities to look like. My city. My city. My city. My city. Your city. Our voice.